make Hurry, Mr. Bergeron's on Don't forget the popcorn, Frank Coming, dear Hi. Hi. Can I get everybody's attention? My name's Laura Stewart. I'm the program coordinator at the Saltmarsh Senior Center. Thanks for coming. A couple of things I would like to point out. One, this microphone is not for you. It's for the camera. So hopefully everybody can hear me in back. Mimi, can you hear me? Oh, I can always hear you. Excellent. Excellent. I'd also like to point out a couple of emergency exits. One is behind you, the big door to the, my left. You can also go out this door right here and probably the front door that everybody came in. Or you can go out through the kitchen at the end of the hall to the left is an exit door. Uh, this is our first seminar of a three-part series of planning to stay in your home. And I would like to introduce Arthur Bergeron from Myrick O'Connell. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. Um, we had, when I were, we were originally going to do, do a presentation out here, somebody said, Oh, nobody comes to presentations in, in uh, Nantucket. You'll get about, you know, five or ten people, right? And so we had originally scheduled this, a presentation for, for March, and, uh, but we found out ahead of time that like 25 people had showed up. We were all excited, and then the big storm came, and so we canceled, right? So we said, well, for sure this time nobody will come. So then we, we found out that 50 people had signed up for this one, right? So I had said to Brenda, Brenda Cost is my paralegal. Can you wave, Brenda? Uh, Bre Brenda, I got, we started coming out to the islands because Brenda grew up on Martha's Vineyard. I know that's the competition, uh. right? We won't talk about last year's football game. We won't go there, right? Um, so, so I said to Brenda, I said, well, maybe we should actually cancel again. Maybe we'll get like 100 people, you know, if we just keep canceling. So anyway, thank you very much all for coming. This is my first time here in uh, Nantucket doing a presentation. It was my second time using one of those little planes, which is why my hair is still standing up. <laughs> I'm still very scared about all of that. Um, and, but um, as, I, as, as Laura was nice enough to mention, my name is Arthur Bergeron. I, I'm an attorney. I practice elder law. That's all I do. I work with uh, Myrick O'Connell, which is a firm of about 67 lawyers. And so there's somebody there that does everything. This is what I do. Uh, and what I, what I wanted to focus on today, I even invited several folks who are going to be speaking, is uh, I do a lot of presentations with councils on aging because one of the goals of elder law, people say, what is elder law exactly? Well, a lot of it is, isn't really law. It's like helping people figure out who all the players are, right? Because you'll f you found, I am sure, as a person who is trying to figure out, you know, what the services are and who everybody is, what the name of the programs are, that there's just a whole bunch. So what we're, what we're doing is we're doing a three-part series. Uh, and all about planning to stay home because I think one thing I have learned from doing a lot of elder law I love doing elder law because you're the only group that still thinks I'm young, you know, so that's a wonderful thing But I also one of the things I found of dealing with seniors like me, you know, is you get to that age Where you 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 all realize that you're gonna die, right? You know, you're gonna die now your kids don't realize that yet, right? They haven't figured this out but you know you're going to die. And at some point, you kind of like accept that. Hey, I'm going to die, right? But the goal of your life is to live it as well as possible until you die, right? And a big piece of that for a lot of people is staying at home. I think when I ask people, what is your plan? What's your general plan? They say, well, you know, I really want to be buried in the backyard. You know, I want to live here. And so a lot of this is about that. And so the first of the, in the first of the series, we really wanted to talk about planning to stay home when you've just retired and you're trying to figure stuff out and the goal of the exercise here is to kind of understand Who the players are and what the programs are that you should know about now that you're at home Right, and that's why I really wanted to leave so next slide now o over the course of these presentations You're going to hear a lot about Frank and Mary uh, These are my friends that that may they're probably a lot like you except they don't live on Nantucket So the house value is probably wrong you know, but they've got a house that's worth about three hundred thousand dollars. Frank has an IRA worth about one hundred fifty. They've got an annuity that's worth about one hundred thousand dollars. They've got savings. They've got total assets of about six hundred twenty-five thousand. He's on social security. So is she. They're going to be okay. 
probably for the rest of their lives. You know, they're retired, their money isn't great, but their money is probably going to hold out unless they have like major medical problems. But right now, for purposes of today, Frank and Mary have retired. And now they're trying to figure out kind of what, what's available, what the programs are, you know, what is around. And so here on Nantucket, what they're going to do is they're going to try to, they're, they're, what they should be doing is they should be meeting Laura Stewart. Right? And, and Laura, and, and even though Laura is kind of, I could tell, kind of a, you know, a, a wallflower, so it's hard to, to really kind of, you know, get to know her still, you know, they should kind of reach out and meet Laura. So I've asked Laura to really come and talk about what, what not just what the Council on Aging has to offer, but through this portal, through this window, what else you can find out there. Laura. Okay, so the Salt Marsh is the senior center of Nantucket. Uh, we have two boards. The first is the Council on Aging, which focuses to provide programs, activities, information, and volunteer op opportunities for seniors. Uh, the Nantucket Center of Elder Affairs is the nonprofit corporation that does all the fundraising for the facility and the program's needs. Um, Next, look at that. You are good, Brenda. You're reading along. Everybody has a little pamphlet of exactly what I'm reading along. And it's also all the information that I'm going over is in the Salt Marsh Gazette that you either get in the mail or was on your seat. So if there's any information that you missed, you can look it up there or come and ask me afterwards. So our business office coordinator is Ann Medina, who is in the back office right now coordinating. <laughs> The program assistant is Ginny Carrera, which everybody knows, I'm sure. Uh, program coordinator is myself. And our human services director is Pam Merriam, who is not here today. So the services that are at the Salt Marsh. Um, SHINE is a service. It uh, stands for Serving the Health need, Information Needs of Elders. And it's a statewide program and that helps with health care information, assistance and counseling with Medicare, beneficiaries of all ages and their caregivers. And we have a SHINE volunteer, Phil Gallagher, who comes here uh, once a week on Thursdays from 1 to 4. You can call and make an appointment here, and you can come at that time, or he can come at another time that's more convenient for you. Does he help you? I'm the only one that gets to ask questions. Oh. I'm the lawyer, right? So d does, uh -oh. he, does, he, does, he, does he answer your questions about your drugs? So if, you know, if, yes. when, it's December, when it's November and it's time to figure out your Correct. Medicare D again? Yes, he just did that. And he was very busy. We also have a uh, veteran services, and our agent is Arnold Patterson. And he visits the Salt Marsh on Thursdays from 9 to noon. And you can stop by, or you can make an appointment with him. Uh, we also have hearing, hearing care services. And that's Barbara Eaton. And she comes from uh, Mass Audiology. And she's here the first Wednesday of every month. Call, make a reservation. Uh, she can. Um, perform hearing tests, she can fit hearing aids, and she's here once a month. Uh, congregate lunch is served here by Elder Services. We are just the host. They come every day, Monday through Friday, from 12 to 1, serve lunch. For a $2 donation, you need to call the day before, before 9 o'clock, to make your reservation for the following day. Senior tax work-off is through um, Human Services, and that's a program that will start again in the fall, and that has to do with um, seniors who are matched with a town department who are looking for part-time volunteer work, and you can work up to 100 hours for $7.50 an hour, and that money is taken off your tax bill, and that will start again September or October. Is there a waiting list for that? Or can, is that this open? was our first year, uh, so we only ha we didn't have too many opportunities. Next year. We're looking for more opportunities and hopefully more people getting involved, just getting the word out to people to let them know. Uh, we also have SNAP, which is basically food stamps, and Pam Miriam can help people with that. The we also have services that the Salt Marsh supports that don't actually happen here. Uh, the first is caregiver support groups. Woo! Our caregiver support groups, we have an Alzheimer's support group that occurs at the Island Home, which is the nursing home on Nantucket, the last Friday of every month from 1 to 2. We also have uh, a palliative and supportive care of Nantucket, and that provides consultations for family members, 
to help them or friends who need some assistance due to illness, disability, or frailty. There are some personal emergency programs on Nantucket. There's the Isle Return Program and Safety Net, and that are programs um, that help public safety agencies manage the challenge of finding either children or seniors who wander. How does that work? Um, though both of those have to do with buying certain, like a bracelet, an ankle bracelet or something for autistic children or people with Alzheimer's. And then they can, tr if they notice that they're not around, then they can track them through that. So it's kind of like a GPS system. We also have a, a Nantucket uh, Senior Citizen Telephone Reassurance Program. And that works that you go to the um, police station, you fill out a form, and the senior needs to call the police station before 10, 10 a.m. every morning. And if the phone call isn't made, then the police station makes a phone call to the house. And if nobody answers, then the police go to the house. So it's a very comforting thing for family also to know about. There's also a uh, disability indicator form, which is a form that you fill out at the police station. So if you dial 911 from your house and you're blind or hard of hearing or broke your leg, there's an alert that comes up on the 911 callers list that tells them when they get to the house, this is the situation. So they know what to expect, which is also very helpful.